welcome back to I Love Teaching. My name is Kevin Love, and at musicforclassicalguitar.com, one of my goals is to support you in your teaching by sharing some of the ideas and concepts that help me stay passionate and engaged with my students. The message today is very simple. Take a break. Take a break now and then. More importantly, watch for those signs when your student needs to take a break. Sitting for 30 minutes, 45 minutes, 60 minutes, that's a long time to sit still, especially the way we, we hold our guitars with a very um, particular kind of posture. So uh, kids especially need to move around a little bit. So uh, don't be afraid to take a break and get up and walk around, stretch a little bit, maybe offer some water to your student. Um, you can play a game, you can sing a little bit, you can do some rhythms, rhythm practice. Um, what else? The, the opportunities are, are, are endless. And so um, when you see uh, uh, your student uh, their tank is going down, you need to stop and take a little break. And the advantages of this are many. Uh, one advantage, for instance, is that if they're struggling with a particularly difficult concept or passage, and they're getting frustrated, and they're getting kind of a little bugged and negative, well, you need to break that pattern. You need to do something different. So stop and maybe have them draw some music notes for a little while, or some treble clefs, uh, something like that. Um, maybe just chat a little bit, have them stand up and stretch, make sure they're breathing, have some water. Um, so that's one reason is to break the pattern. The other reason is that uh, moving around and getting the body, uh, everything flowing, the circulation, getting oxygen to the brain, uh, that, that supports learning as well. So uh, uh, if for no other reason, get the blood pumping, do a few jumping jacks with them, uh, have some fun. And by the way, this all counts, this message is for you as a teacher as well. Uh, you're sitting for a long time, seeing many students one after the other often, so you need to make sure you take a little break. Schedule your students so maybe you can get outside and walk around the block now and then. Um, have lots of water, get up and move when you can, and uh, you'll feel better for it. So thanks again so much for dropping by. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave your comments. Remember, we're here to help. And at musicforclassicalguitar.com, this is Kevin Love wishing you joyful teaching and happy music making.